Hello everyone, welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. Well, today I'm gonna do another keto recipe and this one is also batch cooking because I can prepare it once and have it for several meals. And this will be for breakfast. What I'm gonna make today is a keto friendly bacon, green onion, and broccoli frittata. And frittata is like a crustless quiche and it's a lot of egg, a lot of cheese. So it's something that I can make up, set aside portions, and we can grab it on our busy mornings and keep to the diet because the more I can make ahead, the less likely we are to cheat because, oh, I have to do this or I have to do that. Nope, we're taking away the excuses. We're making this something that's easy to do. Well, mostly easy, <laughs> but there are some exceptions, but we're making it mostly easy. So come on and let's make a frittata. The first thing I'm gonna do is fry up a bunch of bacon, and I have cut this into, oh, maybe half-inch strips, and I think I have seven or eight slices. Now this is kind of lean, so what I'm gonna do is actually add a little bit of bacon fat to help it fry up. So let me go get this fried up, and then we'll come back and make up our egg mixture. All right, I've got my bacon fried up, but I'm gonna keep that skillet hot and reserve the bacon fat. So now I've got nine of my eggs from my hens. You can use eight, but they need to be large, and mine were just a little bit smaller, so I just added an extra egg. So we're just gonna beat those up a little bit. And to that, we're gonna add one half cup of heavy cream. Not half and half, nothing like, we need the fat content. And we're gonna add one teaspoon We're gonna have one teaspoon of ground mustard powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. And just because I like it with eggs, I'm gonna add some of this chervil that was sent to me by my dear friend in Denmark. Inga. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of that too. And we just want to combine those well. I'm going to set this aside for a few minutes while we get the broccoli and onions ready. And to go with our fat content, we need to save two tablespoons of bacon fat. And I'm going to be preheating my oven to 350 degrees. Now I'm just gonna saute, this is um, two to three green onions, and I don't know, about a cup and a half of broccoli. just want to cook this until the broccoli is a little bit tender. And 
that can be to your taste. We like it a little bit firm. We don't like it where it's mushy. how we like it. We like it where the broccoli is still this beautiful bright green. And we just want to kind of spread it out in the pan. Now make sure that you have a 10 inch oven proof skillet for this. Cast iron works beautifully. But if you don't have that, just you want something that is a 10 inch that can go in the oven. So I've turned off the heat and now I'm going to take bacon and you want to spread it out as evenly as you can. This is going to go straight into the oven so we wanted to have some of everything in every bite. We're gonna take that egg mixture and beat it up a little more to make sure it's evenly distributed and we're just gonna pour it over the top. Then we're gonna take about two cups of cheese. I'm using cheddar, but you can use Monterey Jack, Swiss, any of those, if you like it better. A frittata, it's kinda of like a blank canvas. You can add so many things. Brian's father used to make a frittata every Christmas morning and he used all kinds of vegetables. He used zucchini and yellow squash, onions, potatoes, you name it. Now potatoes are not keto. But you can change this up to add the flavors that you want. And I will save this extra cheese and it'll get used in another recipe, but I'm already grating it. I might as well grate it all up. I like to put a little bit of black pepper over the top. And again, this is, if you like it, go ahead. But that's what I like. That was my oven fan just kicked on because it's getting close to temperature. Now you can also, instead of bacon, you could use ham, you could use chicken. There's a lot of different things. If you use the leaner meats, you might want to add a little bit more type of fat to it. But we love bacon, so this is perfect. So I'm gonna bake this about 35 to 45 minutes until it's set and done in the center. And then we will come back and I'm gonna have a taste of this. All right, here it is. We want it to be lightly browned and 
firm in the middle. So I baked this, it was about 40 minutes, and then I let it sit for 10. So now we're gonna cut this up and have a taste. And this makes six servings. There's what it looks like inside. There is broccoli and bacon in every bite. Now you can also make this in muffin pans if you'd like, but I don't know, to me this is more satisfying. So now let's have a taste. Doesn't that look good? Mm -mm -mm. I don't mind being able to grab this for breakfast, heat it up as I'm running around getting things done. This makes it easier to stay on the diet when you have things prepared that you can grab and go. So, I hope you give this a try. It really is good and you can change it up so many ways. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, please hit that little notification bell because I'm going to be bringing you more keto, low carb recipes. God bless and we'll talk again soon.